From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is a college basketball tournament update brought to you by Harry's TV, serving Oklahoma City since 1976. We've got our college basketball coverage team here. Ryan Aber, OU beat writer, to my right. Barry Trammell, columnist, and John Helsley, OSU beat writer, to my left. Guys, it's the day after Selection Sunday, and that means everybody's filling out their brackets, so let's talk about some picks. Let's start with number one seeds. I think everybody has Kentucky going a long ways, but is there a reason to maybe not have Kentucky going as far, or is there a one that you really feel like you can take a long ways in your bracket? John, let's start with you. Well, I like Wisconsin, um, and that's bad news for Oklahoma State fans because they're right there uh, nearby in the bracket. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, it, it's a team, I think, that's very well balanced inside and out. I think they've got a toughness about them. Um, I, I think they're a really good team to pick to go a long way. Barry, what about ones? Well, I think Villanova is probably the most uh, vulnerable. I mean, I, the difference between a one Villanova and a two Virginia is virtually nothing. And, uh, you know, v Villanova, Oklahoma, Virginia, uh, the fourth seed in that uh, is Louisville. All four of those teams, not that far apart. I, I think Villanova is clearly the shakiest number one. All right. Ryan, what about your bracket and ones? Yeah, I, I'm with Barry on uh, Villanova being the shakiest number one. I don't know about Louisville, though. Uh, they've got some issues that I, I think could keep them from going farther. But I think Duke is probably the safest uh, outside of Kentucky just because of the way their bracket plays out. They've got a couple good matchups. Now, I know they're defensively challenged, but uh, Jalil Okafor is you know, probably the best player this side of Frank Kaminsky, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think the Blue Devils got about as good of a matchup as they could have hoped for. All right, guys, uh, first round, there's always that 5-12 game that a 12 jumps up and beats a 5. So do you have a 12 on your bracket that you'd like to pick, Barry? Well, I might should go last because I picked two 12s to win. <laughs> so I don't want to get on anybody's toes. But, I mean, I got all kinds of 12s. Well, and you know what? Toes, I, liked it. I liked another 12. I almost picked another 12. All I right. love the 12s. Well, who do you like as most? A, as a five, I like Northern Iowa. Okay. I think uh, Wyoming's you know decent team, but they sort of had a, a magical run through the Mountain West. Northern Iowa's underseeded at a five. I thought they could even be a three. They were a five. I think they'll advance pretty easily. The other three, I think, are very, very uh, vulnerable. Ryan, you got a, a 12 winning for sure? Well, uh, first of all, to go back on Barry, I, I disagree. I don't think Wofford and Arkansas is a good matchup at all for Wofford. I think Arkansas's guards uh, are going to make it tough on Wofford. Now, a 5-12 I do like is Stephen F. Austin over Utah. This is a team that won a big game last year in the NCAA tournament. Utah is a vulnerable team. I thought they're, uh, there's a lot of talk that they could be a 3 or a 4 thought they were really shaky, dropped a couple games late in the year. I think uh, Stephen F. Austin has an excellent chance to win that game. All right, John, got Aber, a 12? Aber going with the homer pick there with the Arkansas <laughs> Razorbacks. You know, I think I, they're – I've watched them a lot this year. I think they're shaky at best <laughs> against any matchup. So I kind of like Wofford in that. Anybody from the SEC not named Kentucky, mm -hmm. I'm down on. And what? You know what? I actually picked Buffalo to beat West Virginia. Bobby think, Hurley. Uh, Bobby Hurley. I watched the MAC championship game. He's got some good guards. Hurley's doing an excellent job. Buffalo's pretty good. West Virginia's still not healthy. I think Buffalo beats them. You guys have any other uh, upsets uh, or teams that maybe are under, uh, you know, sort of underdogs throughout winning a couple games? People, teams that people should look at as they're filling out their brackets? Ryan? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I look in, uh, you know, I said Louisville I thought was – was in a little bit of trouble. I think UC Irvine has a decent chance to win that first round game. Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, over in the uh, West region, I think whoever wins that BYU Ole Miss game has an excellent shot to, to knock off Xavier. I think Xavier okay. is a team that maybe is a little overseeded at a six. All right, John? Not, not one of North Carolina's great teams. Yeah. 11, 11 losses this year. They play Harvard. Harvard can give people problems. They're used to being in the tournament. So mm -hmm. I think that's one that, uh, that's maybe one to watch. I got Harvard in the Sweet 16, <laughs> beating North Carolina and the mighty Razorbacks. So uh, I, I, I like Harvard. Wait a minute. And, and you I, got, you know, you got the Razorbacks going to the Sweet 16? No, no, I got, no. I got Arkansas beating Wofford barely, but then Harvard oh, beating barely. Arkansas. Barely, barely. It's <laughs> noted on his bracket. Okay. All right, guys. All the talk in this tournament is about Kentucky. Do you guys have them on your final line, or is there somebody picking somebody else to win this whole thing? I've actually got Wisconsin beating Kentucky okay. in the uh, national semifinals. I think Kentucky is a team that hasn't played a lot of really good teams. I mean, we talk about the SEC. Arkansas is a decent team. They beat them a couple times. But really, outside of that, they don't have any team that could be considered good, really. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, it's been a long time since Kentucky has had uh, a good game against a really good team. And I just think as many close games as they play, they're going to get late, down late in uh, one of these games against a really good team and not be able to come back from yeah. it. They have had close games, but the SEC obviously not super talented. John, you, what are you doing with Kentucky? I think the Sweet 16 is the key for them, whether it's West Virginia or, um, or Maryland there. Um, that might be their toughest. I don't like the bottom of the bracket. I think Kansas is vulnerable. I don't think Wichita State's as good as they were a year ago. And I really, think Notre Dame's pretty good. Notre Dame there. is pretty good. Notre Dame is pretty good. I don't know how well they match up with Kentucky or not. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Okay. Kentucky's a little bit of a myth in terms of their dominance. You know, they've won all their games, but, you know, Bobby Bear's right. The, their schedule is not comparable to a Duke or a Wisconsin or somebody like that. And here's the other thing. The, uh, the, uh, I heard Jim Calhoun say this, and he said it on a radio show yesterday, and he wasn't being funny. He wasn't, he wasn't trying to be a, a rabble rouser. He just said, this Kentucky team's not near as good as the Kentucky team that had Anthony Davis. Right. He said, right. they had Anthony Davis, for crying out loud. <laughs> and he said, it wasn't as good as our UConn team of 09. It was, you know, I mean, we've seen some pretty decent college basketball teams. This Kentucky team is just the best regular season of a fairly mediocre bunch. I mean, nobody's really excited about the high quality of teams. It's very competitive. We don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. I think Kentucky could lose several steps along the way. Okay, lastly, guys, as people are filling out their brackets Monday, Tuesday, maybe waiting until Wednesday and Thursday to get these done, but people are trying to figure out how best to do this. Any advice, uh, maybe a team, a region that you're just – uh, really being careful with methods to try and, and win your bracket. Anybody got any uh, good advice for people, John? Absolutely. The best advice is go with mascots. <laughs> I've been in brackets with, with uh, all kinds of places where I've worked, different newspapers. It's always the lady that works at the front that picks the mascots who wins the bracket pool. <laughs> go with the mascots. Barry, you got any advice? Depends on what your end game is. Okay. Do you want to win or do you want to have fun? Okay. I mean, if you want to win... Just pick all the top seeds, and you're going to have a decent chance at the end. Now, sometimes the brackets get blown up, but usually not. Mm -hmm. And you're, if you just pick the favorite, you're going to be ahead of the game most of the time. But that's no fun. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to cheer for Kentucky. When Duke plays San Diego State, you don't want to sit there and have to be cheering for the Blue Devils. So pick you some good upsets. Pick a Harvard. Pick a Stephen F. Austin. Mm -hmm. And you can have some fun while you're picking. Yeah. My thing is just don't take it too seriously. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just all a crapshoot. You never know what's going to happen with it. Uh, don't let what you picked in the bracket take away from the fun of watching what happens over these next couple weeks because, uh, you know, the first week in the NCAA tournament is my favorite four days of uh, sports all year. And mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of the same thing with fantasy sports. Don't let that detract from, uh, you know, the greatness of the games. I heard something today on the radio that you can flip a coin and have as good a chance to, exactly. to win your bracket as taking it seriously. So Just pick all the ones at least to win the first round because you know that's going to happen. Yeah, that's probably a good way to go. All right, guys, we'll do this uh, again as the tournament goes on. We'll see how our picks have gone. We're going to hold you guys accountable to what you've picked, what you've said. And, folks, we hope you have a great time with your bracket picks. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.